you're just fucking up the universe by doing that. I, yeah. I, I just hate it so much. Like it's because they always wave like they're annoyed, like they're doing something wrong. It's like, no, I'm following the fucking law. Right. right. And then when you go, they go. Yeah, it's yeah. weird. It's and, the, yeah. And it's the simple. And a baby's thing. crossing the street. The baby sim- gets taken out. I don't even know why the baby. Babies can't even walk. I don't even know wrong. what they're out babies. there for. But this is what happens. Ba- fuck babies. I know it's all right. <laughs> I don't have any babies. There are none here. Yeah, and they're they're so feel badly. They couldn't even comprehend this because they can't understand regular people. No, oh, they could have passed the COVID test at the door. Did somebody else fuck you two three rounds? Oh, yeah. Oh, thank you. Now, that's a little absurd. We need to meet the fuck you two around the drinks. Oh, four. 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 Okay. I'm a skinny man. I'm a skinny man as I well. I can barely have a drink. Yeah, I'm, I'm not. I can drink a lot, actually. Well, then you got <laughs> You can have, have three and a half of my rounds. It's pretty much. Like, yeah, just until I get cirrhosis of the liver. You know what? We all got to go somehow. All right. Folks, welcome to Hot oh, Takes. Yeah. Now the show can start. I'm Matt. This is Christopher. Yep. We're here to give you a little bit of show. We are Hot Takes in Savannah's. Get this, Chris. The rankings okay, came cool, out last cool. Thursday. Wait, you know, Savannah's 97th finest. Oh, that's pretty good. Variety that's talk pretty good. I like the number. The I like the number 97. We're doing good. I like odd numbers. You know what I mean? It feels like there's always something next. We were stuck I mean? at 102 for a while. Yeah, that's a weird number. 102 <laughs> is just not good. It's like it's too good. even. It's way too even. It's, way it's too nice even. and odd. It's like one of those fake grades your teacher gives you, like when you get extra credit. It's like uh, you got 102. Two. It's like yeah, that's bullshit. They don't carry over. No. College doesn't accept those. Yeah, nobody credits. gives a fuck. Like a 90 and a 100 are the same thing. Like they just both equal student loan debt. Uh, it doesn't uh, matter. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, um, yes, this is hot takes. Uh, this we just messed around for a little bit. We yep. have a lot of guests on the show. It's a big show tonight, so we're happy you're here. Yeah, thank you all for coming out. Seriously. Yeah, thank you. It's a big deal. I'm so glad y'all clapped when I clap. I have this fear of like starting a clap and nobody clapping along with me. It's fucking. It's it's awkward. It's horrifying. It's awkward. The worst thing. Uh, We're very glad a a 22-piece orchestra showed up tonight. Uh, This is our pit crew. They're all violins. Nice. Get used to it. Um, and uh, we also have a wonderful audience joining us from Zoom, by the way. Uh, yeah. These are people who care about their health and well-being, unlike you, Risky Mo. Well, these, no, that, that was true a couple months ago, but these people could all be vaccinated. You could all be vaccinated. I got one shot in my arm. Yeah. Anyone else have a shot in their arm? Yeah. Hey, yeah, hey, 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 vaccinated right. audience. And they got the, they have the strength of their arm back, too. Yeah, they yeah. just went right up there. Is, is your arm still fucked up? No, I was a champion. I was a big boy, and I just, I went, I slept like a baby. Nice. Uh, well, but, but even though uh, some of us aren't cool and, you know, vaccinated, can go out and make out with people and have strange sex, we still have to make sure that when we're in a small business just like this one, we wear our masks, our little face condoms. Me and Chris can break the rules because we're on stage and we don't get paid. Um, so it's okay. <laughs> the rest of you paid, meaning you, you, you know, there's, a, there's, there's an equation in here somewhere. Yeah, so about, Where are <laughs> Unless you're taking a drink or, or eating candy. Yeah, doing something with your mouth besides, like, breathing. If you're doing mouth work, <laughs> take it off. Yeah. Uh, the other uh, thing, there will be an intermission uh, at some point next week, and during that 10-minute intermission, you can get more drinks, go to the bathroom, live your best life. I don't really care. Um, and, um, yeah, the only other thing is, Christopher, uh, we have a Patreon member in the house tonight. Nice, hell yeah. It's Bess. Hell oh, yeah. Bess, yeah. our Patreon member. Wait, uh, oh, and Gabe. Gabe. Aren't you a Patreon member too? Yeah. Hell yeah. yeah. This is yeah. what I Right in my line of sight. Yeah. Nice, hell uh, yeah. Those of you who are not Patreon members, shame. Um, it's, it's not hard. You, you, hey, you're a Patreon hey. member? We suck tonight. Tamika, you're a Patreon member? Well then, you know what? Your whole orchestra is fine by my band. <laughs> you guys are all Patreon members, all of them. What's your two excuse? I think they're new. No, Patreon, it's a, a big deal. You guys, you guys are all patrons by simply being here tonight. So you're already A plus in my book. But if you do are interested, uh, patreon.com does do a big, big help to keep businesses like this open. You can become a member by uh, going to our website, click on the old Patreon icon, let the credit card speak to you, okay? <laughs> um, and whatever amount that lands is up to you. And a special discount code, Christopher. Okay, cool. We got a code now. We Hell got yeah. a code. Anybody who becomes a Patreon member in the next 15 minutes, uh, Danger, our tech guy who you saw at the bar, he will sleep with you. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. 
you, you have to do it here because we need him for the tech. Um, he's a good, he's a good lover. Yeah, I, 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 I've heard he's very passionate. He's and generous attentive. and yeah. attentive yeah. and passionate. I think he's a pleaser. You're a pleaser. <laughs> That's it. And look, there's no lights up there. Yeah. You know what I mean? It's pretty duck off. Totally <laughs> private. You know, you'll have a great time. Uh, so 15 minutes, sign up, you can sleep with danger. Uh, in the meantime, well, uh, that's happening. We're going to be doing a show. Hell yeah. Uh, so let's kick it off, Christopher. We're doing a crossfire. We're going to start with crossfire. I already forgot the subjects we're going to choose. I remember. Nice. Them. It's okay. okay. How crossfire works is we are going to debate mundane topics in front of you. We'll each get a minute. However, to successfully pull this off, we need to partner up with someone from the crowd. So for someone on this half of the room, raise your hand if you want to be my partner. Choose it. Choose it. Hey. You don't need to do anything. You can stay right there and be beautiful, Susan. Susan, are, are, did you enjoy alcohol? Yes. You'll, you'll imbibe? Great. Because the, winner, the, the winner's partner gets a free drink and intermission. So I'm going to All right, cool. Now, so, we haven't won yet. All right, so somebody on this side of the Zoom computer who enjoys alcohol. Oh, somebody said Someone imbibes? That, that, that lovely lady right there. What's your name? Yes, Can you repeat that? Nice. Siri. That's a beautiful Siri. name. Cool. They said it was serious, and I was like, <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. There we go. Get her a drink right now. Hell yeah. <laughs> All right. So you are partnered with Chris, okay? How this is going to work is we should have a debate. After each round, we will vote by a round of applause who won the round. Winner, their partner gets a drink. Free drink. Very simple. We are going to debate our first topic, which was cities. 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 Cool. So uh, someone from this part of the room that's not Susan, what's your favorite city in the tall, dark, darn world? New York, Savannah. New York, well, let's Pittsburgh. do Pitt, you know what? Let's do Pittsburgh. <laughs> Pittsburgh, okay. Pittsburgh. I wanna, I wanna make this hard. <laughs> All right, cool. So someone from this side of the room, what is your favorite city in the world? Doesn't have to be America. Nashville. Nashville? I heard you. Asheville. 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 Oh, okay, cool. Asheville. Asheville. Asheville, North Carolina. Cool. So you have Asheville. And you I got have Pittsburgh. It. You gotta go first. I'll go first. Danger. Let me know when I have a minute on the clock. And go. Anyone like buildings? You like railroads? You like things made out of steel? Well, thank you, Pittsburgh. Yeah, it sucks. It's a little smelly. No one likes to go there, but you know what comes out of there? Steel, baby. Buns of steel, rock hard steel. If Rocky was worth a damn, he wouldn't have been from Philly, would have been in Pittsburgh. He wouldn't have lost that first four fights, okay? If he was from Pittsburgh, the whole movie would have been five minutes. He would have walked in and said, Adrian, hold on, give me one second. And then slapped every Russian he saw and won every gold medal in the book. Pittsburgh, my friends, the gateway to Ohio, another minuscule, terrible state. But you know what? On your way out of that hellhole, you can enter a slightly less hellhole, an industrious one called Pittsburgh. Yeah, Ben Roethlisberger might have had issues with women, but the rest of the team is excellent, okay? Everyone else is trying their best to just let him get blitzed as many times as he wants. They're never gonna win a game. Time. It's over. <laughs> One minute on the clock. Okay. Go. Asheville, uh, mountains, cedarwood trees, hipsters. A whole lot of hipsters and a whole lot of free weed that is not legal, unfortunately. <laughs> Whenever you want to go to Asheville, you want to have the best psychedelic trip you've ever had. I'm talking about you want to wake up at like 7 a.m drop some acid or some mushrooms, and just look at the scenery and feel like you are contributing to the artistic expansion of the North Carolina territory. That's what Asheville represents. It's with a little rustic, small mountaineering town where people had nice little quaint accents like, hey y'all, welcome to Asheville, we chopped down trees. But now it is a mecca of culture and a hub of globalization. But not, kind of, not any kind of globalization, Bearded hipster globalization. <laughs> so if you want to wear a flannel ironically, go to Asheville. You can wear one 24-7, 365, five seasons a year. I say five because ah. they have an extra summer. <laughs> Time right, now to uh, assume this first round. Cool. Round of applause if you think Christopher won. Round of applause. <laughs> Let's give it up for Matt in Pittsburgh. I know what I did. See, I got.
got the girl on the orchestra. <laughs> no. no, I think Pittsburgh uh, is an objectively cooler city. I stacked my deck. No, Pittsburgh's a good place. Like, Wait, the what? From Pittsburgh. Let's make it up in round two. Okay, cool. Which was, I, I remember. We have a fruit. Fruits. Okay, cool. Fruit, you want to get a fruit? Yeah, okay. Uh, this side of the room, favorite fruit? Banana. Grapefruit it is. Grapefruit. On this side, what's the opposite of a grapefruit? Star fruit. A star oh, fruit. Ooh. Thank you very, very much for that. Uh, <laughs> you go first, grapefruit. <laughs> uh, tell me when to talk about grapefruits. Yeah, I Danger's piece. having sex with one of the audience. Oh, members. wow. Nice. <laughs> Sorry, go. <laughs> uh, grapefruits are great because grapes are already a fruit, but they decided another fruit needed to be called grapefruit. So <laughs> grapefruits pretty much usurped grapes' actual fruit status. So that means they have to be superior in some way. I like grapefruits because they're big and sour, like a big old just grumpy man in your hands that you can just squeeze out. And grape, seriously, it's like squeezing out the life experience of an old grumpy Jewish man like into a glass. That's what a grapefruit tastes like. It tastes like wisdom and cynicism, you know, which is also quite healthy. Vitamin C, cynicism. You don't know that. They don't teach that in school. But you would learn that if you ate more grapefruits. Grapefruits are... Uh, they make you able to survive pandemics. You can survive. I'm pretty sure people in the Great Depression ate a lot of grapefruits and they made it through. Some people didn't, some people died in the Dust Bowl, but it was only dusty in that bowl. It was only dusty in that bowl because they didn't have a juicy fucking grapefruit. They drowned. You know what I'm saying? Like, why are you laughing? It's true. Like, if they had a grapefruit in the Titanic, they could have floated. <laughs> Quote out of some people died in the dust bowl. <laughs> Just that quote on its own <laughs> should be the name of a documentary. <laughs> some people died in the dust bowl by Ken Burns. Yeah. What was your star fruit? Star fruit. Nice. The superior fruit. And go. You walk it down the grocery store. Apples, lemons, pears, even, and then some over there in the corner, glowing in a majestic light. Like Jesus when he was born. <laughs> it's a freaking jar full of things no one's ever ate, cooked with, or even put in their house as a decorative piece. The star fruit. Oh Nobody knows what they taste like. It's a mystery. No one knows where they came from. It's a mystery. Some say they came from space. Let me tell you what else came from space. Neil Armstrong. And that I'm man sure. became a senator, okay? Wait, what? No, Buzz Aldrin became a senator. <laughs> but in any case, the star fruit, given us from the gods. You look at the star fruit. Some people see a bear. They name it the Little Dipper. Other people look at the star fruit. They see a majestic hunter. His name's Orion, okay? And you use these star fruits to guide your way through the supermarket. You don't know where to go? Look to the star fruit. It will lead you Bye. to the ice cream. <laughs> I'm just gonna give that one. No, uh, uh, we're gonna do the applause on me because right, I like uh, the sound Chris, of applause. No, let's go for star fruits. Right. Yeah, nobody. I give it to the, to, uh, to the to the grapefruit to Chris. <laughs> to the wrinkly Jewish grape. <laughs> uh, last one to break the tie. I okay. need from this side of the room a hobby that someone oh, has yeah, that you're really good. into a hobby. Golf? Golf. Okay, golf. Okay, anybody got a hobby over here? Brazilian Jiu Jitsu. Brazilian Jiu Jitsu. Nice. Thank you. Oh, all right. And I was challenging him about Patreon. Yeah. He could have kicked my ass. That's why he was so silent. He was like envisioning multiple ways to kill you. Yeah, he was like, it didn't take long. Yeah. It didn't take long. <laughs> oh, man. Like, I don't know. Do I have a pencil in my pocket? <laughs> all right. Uh, drow. Wow. Okay. You got golf. I, got, I do have golf. Golf's a good, it's a good game. It was. Tiger Woods is good at it. I don't know other golfers. You got Phil Mickelson. And, oh, and I always Rowan. confuse him with Jack Nicholson. <laughs> you confuse Phil, white bread. They're both white Nicholson. guys with Nicholson. Yeah, but I mean, yeah, yeah. Jack yeah, Nicholson's like, yeah, I fucked seven people on my own. Yeah, that's over true. Here. That's gross. You know what I mean? Like, he's just, he's, he's wheeling and dealing. Yeah. Yeah. Golf. Well, we're doing it right now. <laughs> Danger, you wake. And go. All right, so golf, or as the Scottish call it, golf. 
Okay, <laughs> they don't say the L because they need to they need to keep their letters nice and tight. They need it on the course because golf, my friends, is not about driving a hole down the fairway and then putting into the hole. No, it's about drinking and smoking cigars without any care in the world. Okay, and in the meantime, you get to hit the earth that screwed you with a cub. Okay, or a club as we call it in America, Scottish cub. Okay, yeah. Why did a bunch of drunken Scots invent a game where you have to hike up hills? It wasn't for the activity or the physical enjoyment of it. No, they were sick and tired of their wives and the British at home. Okay, so they invented a game where you could just go to town on all of them. I have. I highly recommend it. I keep a golf club in my back seat in case a guy with Brazilian shoes it to shows up <laughs> fighting me at a four-way stop sign. At least I can go out with the dignity of William Wallace in my right arm. Okay? Brazilian jiu-jitsu. Yeah. You ever heard of Scottish jiu-jitsu? Huh? Time! <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> I, oh, let's let's do it. Go. Uh, Brazilian jiu-jitsu turns people into anacondas. Basically, they can use their body to crush your body without much effort. Um, it was invented by the Brazilians to uh, get back at the Portuguese for colonizing their land. And ever since then, they've dominated the UFC. Uh, ever since Hoist Gracie showed up in 1981 and beat all the American martial artists with Brazilian jiu-jitsu, it's been how white guys at the rail have justify their tap out shirts. So Brazilian Jiu Jitsu it's pretty much a it's like it's like the sriracha of conversation. You can just drop it in and it just spices everything up like, you know, I do a little Brazilian Jiu Jitsu, you know, you wanna come home and watch some Chuck Liddell videos. That's pretty much how Brazilian Jiu Jitsu yeah. <laughs> That's pretty much how it works and applies to real life. I can't do it because I'm just an improv actor. I would fucking break if I was in the ring with somebody and I had to like harm them because like I'm a fucking artist like I don't want to hurt people like but if you do want to hurt people Time. <laughs> all right to decide who gets the magnificent drink at intermission give it up if Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu won give it up for Chris all right give it up for golf golf Get him, get him, get him! Oh, You're yeah. gonna get yourself a drink for a frizzle at intermission. Give it up for Shannon! And give it up for Cyril! Cyril, we'll take, you know what, Cyril? You win too. You're gonna have my one of my rounds. <laughs> All right, we're gonna get both of you oh drinking God. together yeah, at intermission. They brought us an obscene amount of alcohol. Yeah, so. this is the, the the Wilsons or the, the Wallaces? The Waxes. The Wallaces. Wallaces. The Waxes. Who the fuck is named? I've been Wallaces. drinking all the drinks. <laughs> All right, it's time to do a little set. Nice, a little steady set. Hey, Danger, can you give us till 42, please? 42. All right, what we need to start this set is a word that's not a food. Cabinet. Cabinet, Cabinet. thank you very, very okay. much. Cabinet. Uh, on the floor, we see various logs arranged by size from thickest to thinnest at the top. Logs, right. And right over here is a fire pit that's currently not uh, on fire. Okay, cool. And on the wall is um, a series of axes. Like at the top, there's a huge lumberjack axe, and it goes all the way down to like a small little baby hatchet at the bottom. Mm, and over here is an empty baby's crib. Oh. <laughs> okay, cool. And next, uh, next to the crib is a coffee table with a uh, cigars and ashes just all over. Cigars it. and ashes. And a, and a bottle of like half drank scotch. All right, cool. That's that's behind the fire pit. Yeah. All right, much. cool. We're gonna get this scene started with the shimmy shimmy sham on the hand. Right. No, no, seriously. It's been nighttime for like 30 days, I feel like. That's what they get for sending us to Alaska. Yeah, no. Fucking Russians. It's the worst witness protection I've no, ever had. No, Jesus. <laughs> I almost rather fucking they killed us. I would have rather yeah. they killed us. If 
This feels like death, but every day. Fucking Putin. God, fucking Putin. It's weird, the Russians exiling us to a U.S. Yeah, state. No, it's weird, but is, is it really a U.S.? It's, it's like kissing Russia. I did. This is how we got in trouble at yeah, the bar no, yeah, yesterday. We, we asked this is why we questions. don't have any it's, friends. It's, it's, you were like, you don't actually live in it. Why are you using American dollars? Why aren't you using rubles? Hey, man. This I, is what got us in trouble. Hey, we don't have friends, but I'm your friend. Sorry, you're right. We need no. to keep. No, I'm, it's a, no. I'm, I'm, <laughs> let's do a Russian hug. <laughs> Think about building a fire. Yeah, I'm just throwing some of the small, skinny logs in there. The kindling. Yeah, oh, that's, yeah. <laughs> it's a good synonym for skinny logs. It's right all right, no, it's all right. It's yeah. all right. It's all right, man. Yeah. I get it. Your, your brain's still cold. Yeah, no, my brain's fucking frozen. I tried to stick my tongue in the roof of my mouth. Nothing nothing helped. The tongue trick didn't work? No, not at all. The tongue to the, to the roof of the mouth? Who would have thought in the sub Antarctic it didn't work? Oh, that's a good one. You pound the feet? Yeah, I've done everything, man. I got nothing else. Yeah, it's all good. I'm glad to be inside. Uh, I don't have a match. Let's throw some sticks together, bro. I feel warmer already. Yeah, me too. <laughs> okay. I think that's enough. Yeah, I caught a pectoral yeah, cramp just now. You caught a pectoral? Yeah. <laughs> wow, man. It's, it's, it passed, though. I'm good. Yeah, thanks, man. Um, I don't want to bring up the elephant in the room. I mean, maybe it's time you brought it up. Uh, I've been thinking about it a lot too. I uh, I built the crib. Yeah. I, uh, I think we're we're we were talking about it we, before, before the incident. We, yeah, before we got relocated. Before we got relocated to we, Alaska. We, we were gonna adopt. We were. It's not a lot of babies in Juneau, Alaska, not a to lot. adopt. We can't just take one. <laughs> no, that's kidnapping. That's we're, just kidnapping. We, we've already. On the run for one crossed crime. crossed a line. I don't want to cross that, that line. line. That's, a, that's a much more morally like. That is. That's a bad. Line. That's a rough line. Yeah, we're victims in the witness protection program. We'll to be criminals if we kidnap a baby. That's a good point. Yeah, they would relocate us. We go no, to prison. But, uh, I'm. I. I still want to. Do you still want to? Yeah, it? I think we'd be the best best friend parents ever. Totally. Totally. Yeah. That's what I was th Oh, yeah. thank God. Yeah, I, didn't, yeah. I thought you'd be kind of freaked out. No, I thought it'd be awesome. Like two guys just raising a baby. Two guys with a baby. Hell yeah. That'd be great. That'd be a great NBC sitcom. Be a hell of an NBC. Yeah, yeah, seriously. Two guys, two guys with a witness protection raising a baby. It's 2021. Yeah. I'd watch that. That'd be so, it'd be so wholesome. <laughs> that'd be great, man. Oh. You'd be a great co dad. Good co dad. Thanks, man. The way that. We put that kindling on there. That was like <laughs> the way you know words like kindling. That's just. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's, but you know what? We're like two halves of a coin, and our maybe one. Our baby can have a whole. Coin. Two halves of a coin is deep, bro. Because you can't have just half of a. No, coin. you can't. That's a deep face. That's out. crazy. That's, face crazy. Right? that's like Abraham Lincoln out in a little house on the back. What is right. that? It's nothing. It's useless. <laughs> Fuck. And our child can be Abraham, Abraham Lincoln, Lincoln in a house. He can emancipate our hearts. <laughs> she, he or she, he they, or she, he they, or whatever. We don't they, know yet. They, they, they don't know yet. They'll figure it out when they I grow know. up. Oh, but he's gonna. <laughs> Seriously. There wasn't even a joke. I'm just no, no, no. I'm, I'm down. Yeah. And you know what? They're gonna keep this union together. Yeah, seriously, they're gonna teach us a lot about us. Like, they are. I love how we just got like the different size axes for like when they're a little baby lumberjack and then when they're like a little toddler lumberjack and then uh, you, this, don't, you're, you don't what? this is i did have one caveat okay because a caveat with the axes yeah, yeah, mostly the axes. about the axes you have an axe uh, caveat okay. the cigars are probably going to come up next but i do want to start you don't want up the you don't want the baby smoking cigars let's take baby steps let's <laughs> take baby steps it just sounds like you don't want our baby to be cool i you know wow <laughs> are you don't bring this there? up to me again because cool people will smoke cigars arnold, Stop. arnold schwarzenegger smoked cigars and he's pretty fucking cool right, yeah arnold. he saved the future like at least three times i don't know saved the future. okay a lot of times yeah okay yeah, yeah. all right yeah, he's that's a great. Sorry, you know I got a I I got ahead of myself. You no, had a, I know. Um, you had a caveat, a we're, complaint. It's we're gonna get to cigars. I am okay. concerned with the uh, with the sheer number of sharp uh, 
axes hung up by they're hung up by thumbtacks. They're not even nailed in. Because <laughs> life is dangerous. Yet like, yeah, no, it's dangerous no. right now, but this is not gonna be good with that. Okay, okay. They're gonna chop off Abraham Lincoln's little head. <laughs> It wouldn't be the first time Abraham Lincoln yeah, lost but, his head. That's, but, that's what I'm saying. That's, we want to be good parents. We want to let him get to that age and then let him die by that. We don't want to be the responsibility. Okay. We don't want to be John We won't move, all right? Okay, I got you. Okay, we'll, we got to get rid of the axe. We'll put like some little safety mittens on the axe blades. The safety mittens? Like a little oven <laughs> mitt on the blade. Like, it'll be fine. Like, here, I got one right here. Just see this. Half of the baby's body is cartilage. It doesn't matter if it's, it's not. There's sharp. a mitt on the blade now. It's dull. Now you can't get cut on that. Have you never used an oven mitt? I've used an oven mitt. I haven't just say one on an axe. I, just, I haven't it seen it. it. We're making kindling and shit over here. I haven't seen you turn on an oven. Is all I'm saying. But now you're pissed off at the I'm, way I, I make fire. I've been pissed off at the way you make fire. Earlier you were saying I how was, wonderful I my words are. I Sometimes you lie when you care about people. Okay. <laughs> Say it. You know, Abraham Lincoln better come fast before I secede from your ass. Secede. <laughs> Are you gonna Jefferson Davis? I'm gonna get Jefferson Davis. What makes me Jefferson Davis? Because you're seceding. That's what the that's what the Confederates did. They succeeded. Well, and Jefferson Davis was the president. Yeah. <laughs> it wasn't even a joke. It's just history. No, I know it. <laughs> You know what? Yeah, for, for little Abe's life, I'll 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 be I'll be the Jefferson Davis for little Abe. For little Abe. For little Abe. For little Abe, for little Abe you'll be Jefferson Davis. For Abe's well-being, okay. so he doesn't live in a house of death. A house of fun. A house of fun. Okay, even if this did work, one axe as a mitten. How many axes? One, two, three, we'll four, five, 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 there's not a shortage of mittens in Alaska or what's, anywhere. What's little matter? baby Abe gonna wear if he doesn't have mittens for his own hands? He's gonna wake up and be like, oh, I want a mitten. And then he's gonna chop his little thumb off. Okay, that's, that's a fair point. And if Jefferson Davis has to prevent that, call me Jefferson, huh? Call me Davis and Jefferson. I'm gonna pour some scotch. So this has just been sitting here and I haven't drank today. Oh, who's surprised? It's only 2.30. <laughs> We used to be happy, right? <laughs> yeah, we used to be the bestest of friends, and then witness protection happened, and then... Yeah, I feel like Howard... witness protection screwed us. Yeah, I, mean, I think it does that to a lot of people, man. It shouldn't, though. It's supposed to inherently help people. Yeah, but then you gotta take on a whole idea. I don't even know who I am anymore, We're man. the Wallaces. We're the... We're now we're the Wallaces. <laughs> With the wall, don't no, don't bring up our old selves. No, no, no. They were not, really, I'm they not, were so not, clear on that. I'm not bringing up the old self. I just, I was gonna say I'm sorry. I'm, I'm sorry. Okay, you know. So what, what do you, what do you want besides fun, dangerous axes no. on the wall? No, no, no. I'm. Maybe I got. I'm, I'm raining on your parade. A, a little bit, but it, a, little, it's, it's, a lot of it. No, really yeah, a lot yeah, of it. Yeah. You use the axes to chop down the trees to get us the kindling to make us warm, and little Abe will appreciate. It. Yeah, I'm sorry. Thank you. I, I appreciate. Let me pour you a drink. I appreciate that. I, it's okay. That's fine. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's two o'clock, but it's Alaska time, so that means it's like. True. Like, that's a good. It's point. like twelve o'clock everywhere else that's in the world. That's a really good point. Yeah. And we really don't work because we're in the no. We, we just so. chop wood and talk about babies. <laughs> <laughs> that right there is a lot of work. That's like a whole Raymond Carver short story right there. <laughs> Great author, Raymond. I love Carver. I love minimalism. Yeah. So, yeah. No. Yeah. It doesn't really tell you a lot. No, but, but he tells you everything in the in the not telling. Uh, it's a lot between the lines. It's a lot. What we talk about when we talk about love. Love. Right? Yeah. So, yeah. Classic. Very good one. One of the best American writers of all time. Raymond Carver. I think he would approve of, of, of this. You know? He'd definitely approve of the drinking. Yeah, <laughs> I know that. He would definitely approve of the drinking. You think Raymond Carver ever had a bunch of axes in his house? <laughs> like, you think Carver was just a pseudonym for like, what he liked to do, like it was like a verb, like Carver. Like what if his real name was like Raymond James or something, you know? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Like trying to think of the other, uh, like 
like other like the other other like, last names that are like that. Uh, yeah, like a like Wallace. It doesn't fit with. We could be anybody as yeah, the Wallaces, no. which might also have been part of their plan. Like you can reinvent yourself as the Wallaces. <laughs> you know, that's I mean? a good title for. And it's hard to bring it back. That's a good title for a show. Reinvent yourself uh, as the Wallaces. You know what? Man. No, I want to have the fight again. Cause you know what, dude? This is what the problem. I figured out us. Every time we start to have a real connection, you equate us to fiction. And you want us to be a fictitious couple. Yeah, we're real. We're real. Yeah, but those people are real too. Like just because it's happening up here doesn't mean it's not real. No, that's the, no, that's literally the definition of something not being real. Get the fuck it's out of here. It's happening up there. Get the fuck out of that's here, the man. definition. I'm not trying to rain on your creativity. You're a very creative person, okay? But like, let's, we have to. This isn't gonna. It's not gonna work. We have no other options. Is this or or Russia? I Outside mean, of this door is a barren I mean, land. It's a barren landscape of snow and polar bears and Arctic wolves. That's all there is in Alaska. I made a phone call. You made a phone call when you were. We out, have a phone. I when you were out chopping wood, I walked six miles and made a phone call. <laughs> Jesus Christ! No, you. I you called. I called oh, Edward Snowden. Oh, Edward Snowden. He says I could live with him at the in the embassy if we didn't work out. <laughs> me and Edward are friends. So you would just leave me up here alone with an empty crib? Fill it with what fill it with what? It? With my disappointment? <laughs> that one is pretty overflowing with for me right now. Yeah, well we got each other. Well, there's not enough cribs to handle that much disappointment. Jesus. <laughs> Glad I got a quarter bottle of scotch left. Oh, come on. That's not the answer. Oh my God. You should just go. You know, hang out with Edward Snowden, do some WikiLeaks, do whatever. I don't give a fuck. He gave that up. Yeah, he doesn't do it yeah, anymore. Yeah, he doesn't do it if anymore. You, just defend, you can't wait to defend Edward Snowden. I'm sorry, you can't wait to hop off into the Lord of the Rings and Raymond Carver fuck town. I'm just trying to deal with my life. <laughs> that sounds pretty awesome. Lord of the Rings and Raymond Carver fuck town together. Sounds like a pretty great fucking have resort. Have fun. I will have fun. Have fun. And you have fun being a government fugitive with fucking Edward Snowden hanging out I hacking will. Wikipedia. Alright. You can go. I will. You know where the exit's at, you know, just head that way and then 438 exactly. miles south and you'll be back in America. I know where I'm going. <laughs> Taking back my mitten. Yeah, go for it. Won't, won't fucking need it for little Abe anymore, I guess. I want to say something mean, but I can't. You've already said enough mean things today. Fuck you. <laughs> <laughs> wow. I, oh. You know what? Why don't you keep this mitten? A little aid can wear it, your little aid fancy. Me and Snowden are gonna raise an Abe Lincoln, raise an Abe Lincoln of our own. <laughs> and he's gonna be great. He's gonna be a great child. Well, I hope he goes to a theater one day and has a bad time. Oh, <laughs> he'll have a great time. He'll have a great time. I hope it's the last great time he no, has. No, he's going to have the best time ever. I hope he has the best balcony seats ever. Oh, yeah. yeah. He's going to have his own box. His own box. Yeah, is about I it. hope he has his own yeah, box. With a, bun a bunion in front of you it. You know, I hope a disgruntled actor just happens to go to that theater. Oh, right yeah, you there. hope so? Yeah, I hope you so. Hope so? Yeah. I hope so. You hope no. he's laughing at My American cousin a great yeah. melodrama and just on I'm not saying anything line. I'm just I'm just I'm giving you good hope for little Abe. yeah you know? you know what yeah I hope so I hope I hope he's honest unlike his dad oh, oh no Snowden's plenty honest <laughs> that's, just, that's actually his biggest fault um, also wasn't talking about Snowden I know who you were talking about and I can handle it Snowden can lift up my faults not show them to me every morning <laughs> Why don't you just go fuck Snowden? I, I'm going to. That's pretty much the plot All of right, what cool. my life is going to look like. All right, you know what? I'll leave you with this. Four score and seven years from now. <laughs> when Abe's forefathers set forth to give the adopted child a better nation, I hope you feel like shit. <laughs> <laughs> Dad, yeah, that was cool. That was good. We worked some stuff out. We worked some stuff out.
stuff oh, out man. there. Damn. Uh, wow, we have to lighten the mood. That was a cool long scene. That was like 20 minutes just now. That was, tw- <laughs> that was longer than my first marriage. Um, <laughs> and we all know why now. Um, folks, uh, as we did say, Hot Takes is the 97th finest variety show in Savannah. We didn't get that way by only having two people on the stage. We have... Variety. Yeah, yeah. And, uh, <laughs> I, I, I thought you were I was going to say guest, but then I heard a V sound, and I was like, that's not how a guest starts. We got, we got guests. Yeah. We got guests. Now, normally, I will say, normally we have uh, musicians. Uh, comics. Stand-up comics. Yeah. Uh, we, we didn't get one of them tonight. Uh, they were all, uh, there was something else going on, a little underground uh, COVID sex party somewhere downtown. <laughs> uh, but we were able to find someone. Someone really down on our list. Yeah. Um, and uh, we're, gonna, we're gonna give him a chance. We're gonna give him a chance. All right. If he's bad, Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu, you know what to do. Uh, <laughs> their name is uh, uh, Landon. Landon Derisi. Landon Derisi. Let's give. I think there's something with animals. Yeah. Something about animal, animal experts. Animal yeah, yeah, yeah. expert. I used to love Jack Hanna and Steve Irwin. I love all of animal yeah. experts. So this is gonna be really exciting. Give it up for Landon, Landon Derisi. Derisi. <laughs> yeah. We get it. Landon, I, I do apologize. I, I didn't mean to put you down. So. Uh, no, that's fine. That's fine. It's all. It's all good energy. Hell no, I, like oh, yeah, no, 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 I like Landon. I like that. No. I like Landon. So uh, tell us exactly what you do. Tell the audience. You're an animal uh, expert of some kind. Well, I, I don't like to use titles. Uh, but I'm an animal advocate. I'm part of a group. Um, it's called Animal Helpers Healing Holistically. Or oh, nice. <laughs> that's a good acronym. Uh, I like acronyms. Uh, that is a good. Uh, yeah, we good basically acronym. we thought of the acronym first, and we tried to figure out how would it make sense. I think that's how the best acronyms work, honestly. Yeah, you're already I. Just yeah. put it with what you love. Yeah, animals. Yeah. I love, and I do love animals. I love what animals can do for us, and what we can do for animals, and it's really kind of a yin yang thing. I love this. Yeah, no, I love Eastern philosophy. I, I, don't, doubt. I, doubt. I don't. I don't put it in terms of geography. Oh, that's fair. It's <laughs> just more labels, and we don't like labels. You know what? If you go all the way west, you will eventually hit the east. <laughs> <laughs> ah, seriously, no. That's true. That's what Columbus was trying to prove. That's what, yes, what he was trying to prove. Uh, in any case, uh, we, uh, we, you know what is ironic? One of our first guests ever was an animal yeah, expert. Yeah, it's cool to come full circle. And oh. so, he was you... one of those zoo Nazis, though. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> that was... Yes, he came from a zoo. Yeah. <laughs> From a zoo. Yeah. I don't know his political affiliation. I, I don't like zoos either. They feel like just like prisons for animals. Exactly. Yeah, I don't Thank like you. that. Well, Thank did you, you did you bring some animals to show the audience? Actually, I did. Oh, uh, sweet. Just, uh, stage. Yeah, you mind? Oh, oh yeah. yeah. Thank you so much. I'm gonna grab my beer. Ooh, I love animals, man. I love animals too. I don't like snakes, but I like animals. No snakes like, are for the. I don't like big snakes. I can do little snakes. Eh, they're sneaky though. They get in your shirt. <laughs> what the <laughs> fuck Whoa, holy is shit. that? Yo. No. No. What? That is a. Fucking severed do, horse's head. Shit. You were supposed to be an animal, like, helper. I am. I'm, I'm helping this horse. It's his head. He's, that's a fucking horse. No, that's not that's a full not, animal. You can't help something by killing it. We don't like using labels. <laughs> murder is not no, a yes, label. Murder is no. too big of a label. It murder, has a harness on. That was murder, someone's horse. Murder implies judgment. <laughs> when you think about it, when you think about it, we're all born dying. So when we're dead, we're going back to the living. What the fuck? I can't argue with that. That's actually, but I can argue that's, stop with putting, killing stop it. horses and chopping their heads off. Yeah. Uh, I thought you guys were like like an animal advocacy. Like, you were up to oh, like like the like, oh. Like saving. Oh. Oh. What do you? No. Do, uh, I know you guys do this like. Is, this is part of our outreach. This is part of our advocacy. I thought that's why you had me on the show. The first, yeah, sure. Uh, well, we know you just do. You guys do like a lot of therapy with animals, right? Of course. I, I think animals are. That's part of the healing. That's part of the holistic approach. That's implicit in our acronym. Now I thought it was like ah uh, uh, yeah. I thought it was like like riding horses or like petting li- alive like live live. No, again, that's where you're assuming a hierarchy and labels to our horses, <laughs> to our animals in general. Oh, there are more of these heads. It's so dead, and you keep petting it. It's like. <laughs> How oh, I'm, I'm sorry. When someone dies, are you not going to stand over their grave and cry? I'm not going to carry yeah, their that's body not this. and caress it. 
we don't like to judge. I like to judge. <laughs> how do you do? How do you do therapy with the with the with the the sacrificed horse's head? It's not a sacrifice. Again, that's judgment. Okay. All right. What we tend to find is that so much of our corporal self is it's binding and, and restraining. Mm -hmm. And when we when we sever the head, uh, it allows us to form a new symbiotic relationship with the animals. <laughs> Oh, oh, oh my god, you put oh, no, don't do that. You don't have to do that. You go, oh. oh and you oh, see, god. if the horse had its body, yeah. you wouldn't be able to connect with the You animal wouldn't be able way. to put its head on I'm, your I'm head. I'm sorry. I'm, I'm so, I just what? As many times as I've done it, I still feel it. I still it still gets me every time. What what's Because the horse talks to me. Is it saying, give me my body back, you bastard? <laughs> Is it demanding justice for its unjust killing? Yes and yes. Okay. 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 Ah. Okay, Buttercup. Okay. Oh, God. All right. All right. Uh, was there any other sort of activities with the horse? Well, I don't know if you, if you two want to try. <laughs> I'm not putting it on my head. No, 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 no. Everybody has to find their own journey. It's, it's where the animal inside of us finds a path to find the animal within Buttercup. And, and Buttercup's severed spinal cord. Yeah, there's not a lot of animal left in Buttercup. All right, I'll... Uh... Be gentle, be gentle. I'll, I'll use the, the stirrup. It's not a stirrup. Stirrup is what goes on your feet when you're riding in the saddle. Oh, I'm sorry. Those are just the, it's the reins. It's you the don't water. have room to judge. Yeah. <laughs> oh, I can be judgmental. Okay. So, like... so, so you got to take a moment here. Mm -hmm. And if everybody actually is just kind of thinking and, 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 and feel that energy, feel where it, it takes you. You know, that's what, you know, if whoever has a feeling of where the horse should go, shout it out. <laughs> it's where the, the horse lets Buttercup speak to you. Put it on your head. <laughs> the head in your pants. Oh. <laughs> we, never, don't, we don't judge. We don't judge. I've never had a horse's cock before. <laughs> To this when you're doing it. I'm not gonna, I really I don't want you to be it. close to me. Right. Yeah. <laughs> this but, is so fucked up. Am I yeah, supposed like, to be feeling something? This is so bad. <laughs> At this point, I think we're all feeling it. I'm feeling something definitely. I, 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 okay, you know what? I'm gonna ask you to please tear down your walls of negativity right now. Okay? <laughs> I feel a lot freer, I gotta say, by doing this. Thank you, okay? Because oh, your cinder blocks of cynicism, okay, and your and your mortar of skepticism isn't helping us right now. I could get my ex-wife back with this. <laughs> yes. Of course. What's that? That's yeah, my horse. That's my horse. Are you pumping? What is it? Did you just pump with the... Oh, yeah, it's just my horse. So this is this is what we do. This is what we do. This is what you do. I like it. This is what our group does. I'm liking it. Is we find ways for us to be advocates for animals, and maybe ways that you wouldn't think. <laughs> I'm not. I'm not running away. No, I'm not. Come closer. Just, come, just, come as close. I think it's two guys talking. Just, yeah, two. You're stroking them with your. Pseudo horse thing now. <laughs> two guys, that's what you're doing. Two guys doing god things. I'm just gonna. So, yeah, how do I. <laughs> how can people find you? Are you on Patreon or OnlyFans? <laughs> how can they support this cause? It should be illegal to support this cause. In a lot of states, it is. It should be illegal in all states. Um, not Georgia. Not Georgia. I, not Georgia uh, we, uh, I still have a MySpace account. Of course. Have a MySpace. <laughs> yes. So. Come on there, you can find Oz and also some of my favorite bands from the 90s. Oh. So it's kind of fun. Um, but we really encourage you to find your own way. Oh, wait, okay, you got to keep that there. Oh, <laughs> 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 You know what? This, this is what warms my heart because it 
bring so much joy. I'm so mad you're into this. It's, I am. it's bringing joy to these people. You brought this guy and he came with a fucking Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. I, I think, no, I think Chris might be right. I think, I think we are, we've, uh, we've, exa we've exhausted our time. Uh, I look forward to seeing you on MySpace. Um, are you exhilarated? No, I guess it's like like your little Godfather escapade just now. I, I guess I feel I feel a great release, and now uh, now I'm a little tired. Uh, it was great having you. Okay, I don't think that's sincere. <laughs> was it good having the animal expert? You know what? Please. Don't applaud for me if you could applaud for Buttercup. Buttercup and up the hall. You didn't think this shit was gonna happen, and I did. <laughs> oh, show's called Hot Takes. Oh, yeah. Yeah, the guys, the perverted men with a severed horse's head. <laughs> Perversion is judgmental. That's, That's judgmental. Folks, I uh, give it up the anime. Yeah. 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 We might see more of uh, Landon Dereese, uh, Stephen Meyer, his real name. Yeah. <laughs> we might see more of him in Act Two, folks. It is time for that intermission. I'm, I'm going to move it up from uh, later this week. We're going to have it now. <laughs> uh, ten minute intermission. Feel free to use the restrooms or on the other side of the bar. Use the bar. Our bartenders, John and uh, Dan, who's helping out too. They're fantastic. You guys know to go outside for a cigarette or a smear or something. We will see you in ten oh, minutes. Yeah. Right, a little bit like I have Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu. Yeah. yeah. You can't do it alone. Uh, <laughs> folks, welcome back to Act Two. Congratulations for surviving intermission. Well done. Oh uh, yeah, it's tough out there. It is tough out there. <laughs> this is a pandemic. I don't know if you've heard. <laughs> Seriously, it really is. It's, 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 oh. Anyway, we're gonna keep on keeping on. For this round, we're gonna bring up some good friends. Some of them you met have met before. We got Stephen Meyer. Hey. <laughs> we got Deshaun Mason. Johnny, John's still running the bar. Where is he? Johnny! Johnny! Johnny B! Johnny B! Johnny B. Johnny B. That's, uh, that's, that's, that's Tamika. We'll just, he'll, 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 all together for all of your pleasure. How we're gonna get suggested for this one? We're gonna ask you a very simple question. If you have an answer that you feel in your gut, just shout it out. We're gonna use all of these to build this little play for you guys. Okay? Here we go. I'll start. Uh, what is your favorite song lyric? Baby's got a big old butt. All right. Thank you very much. Okay. Um, what is your favorite piece of furniture? Couch. Cool. Couch. Uh, spring is here now. What's something you're looking forward to getting back into? I'm looking forward to gardening. Something that spring's here, it's warm again with sunbathing. Sun sunbathing. 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 Uh, what is an irrational fear that you have? Spiders. Uh, <laughs> 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 I feel like I had spiders and then I was like, that's normal. Accidental shoplifting? That's it right that's there. That's a great That's irrational. That's irrational. Yeah. I like that. Okay, I'll see you. You could put a, uh, a a tattoo on um, your dog. What would it be? Cat. Yes. A, cat. A, a tattoo of a cat. All right. In review, we've got baby's got butt. A couch. Sun baby. Accidental shoplifting. Tattoo of a cat. We are going to use dog. these yeah. suggestions to make up a little something something couch. for you. Please get us started with a round of applause. <laughs> It's good to see you, man. Yeah. Good morning, man. Yeah, I, I haven't seen you since a oh, while. Wow. It's been a minute. I keep yeah. calling. Oh, yeah, man. I, I got, you know, phones. Weird, yeah. Right? yeah, I get it. <laughs> it's funny, I'll even see, like, you read my text. Right, right, right. <laughs> Just, like, as a joke, why don't we both say your name at the same time? All right. All right. <laughs> Are we going to count? Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Like well, we used to? Right, like, yeah, yeah. exactly. We used to. Yeah, yeah, I'm on board. Yeah, yeah. 
Two, six, eight, Thaddeus! Yes. Thaddeus, dude! Of course! Connor, that couch outside. Is that like a free couch? I mean, I, yeah, do you want well, I didn't see a free sign, though. I mean, it's just trash, you know? Like, it's just that, trash, so it's like, it now not yours. Right. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. You want that couch? I don't know yet. You want to, you mind sitting in with me? <laughs> <laughs> like, a love seat. I want to, I want to see if it still works. Um, I mean, like a friendship love, don't be weird. No, I'm, I'm not trying to be weird about that. Uh, all right, all right. Or, honey, take care of the kids, I'll be back. Okay. <laughs> You didn't like be on it or anything, did you? I mean, no. If I have done that, <laughs> not to your couch, other couches. That's what he said. Yeah, 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 yeah. No, I haven't seen those. This is a nice couch. Is it's just good. trash to you? I mean, you know, we just got a new thing, you know, just for the fam. Oh, nice. Okay. Oh, I got you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I mean, it's still, it's like kind of a treasure shell. Oh, man. Okay. It's pretty, it's pretty cushiony. Pretty cushiony? Okay. Yeah. Let me give it up. So alone. <laughs> oh, it's pretty good, man. Right? This is pretty good. Look, you get to see your neighbors. It's like way better than a bench. It's a nice little love seat. Yeah. Right. You just get to chill, you know? Yeah, absolutely. Um, I mean, do you want do you want like a beer or something, man? Like, yeah, I love a beer. Hold on one second. Let me just let me ask, let me ask the wife to bring some. Honey, honey, will you bring us some beers? Are you gonna on that couch all day again? <laughs> don't embarrass me in front of what was your name again? Uh, uh, Daddy. Daddy, don't embarrass me in front of Daddy. I'm just joking, bro. I'm not embarrassed. Hey, 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 hey. The mini fridge. Is that free? I mean, it's free too. You know what? I bet I left some beers in there. <laughs> One <Whoa>. month later. <laughs> yeah, I think we're bums. That is, I can't keep drinking beers out of this fridge. You it's gotta let me go back college. inside. It's a never-ending mini fridge. Look, man, it's got all the best PBRs, Natty Light, Miller Light. Yes, yeah, Milwaukee's best. There's a bush best. in there, Milwaukee's beast. Of course, Dum Dum. That is. It's a beast. That is, please. And discontinued. Two months later. <laughs> Hey, uh, I'm gonna have to break up with you. <laughs> this just isn't working out for me. You're breaking up with, are you gonna take the couch or what? Nah, I'm good. <laughs> nah, it doesn't really fit. Uh, thanks for going to Dollar General with me. Oh, no, bro, I love Dollar General. I know Susan keeps in a pretty tight. Yeah, I can do, yeah, man. I just need a little freedom, a little. Yeah, I got I got to just check. No, it's my same anxiety. Yeah, bro. Yo, bro. The camera's everywhere, man. You know Fuck! No! Look at that, man. Oh. I accidentally shot to fit a pack of gum. Oh, bro. That's, oh, that's Wrigley's, too. That's the good shit. Just put it back. It will... Everybody sounds like I'm paranoid. She no, me. it happens. I'm sorry to grab you. I, I don't think that's you're okay. paranoid. No, it's cool. Okay. Yeah. Thank you. I don't think you're paranoid, bro. It's a real rational fear, accidental shoplifting. <laughs> bro, you're just walking down the fucking hardware aisle and whoops a power drill in your pocket. <laughs> they were giving me the stink eyes I was leaving. Fucking narcs, bro. Check yourself out. Yeah. Dude. Got a crown of broccoli in my back pocket. <laughs> I don't, even know, like, I don't even know Dollar General sold Bro. fresh produce, man. It's not fresh, but it's produce. <laughs> Jesus, man. It just fell in there, bro. You just, you're walking on the produce aisle, and then boom, you got beans, you got edamame in your pocket. <laughs> All right. That's cool. Yeah, man. That's cool. It's my greatest fear, bro. That's why I don't go to Kroger anymore. <laughs> Last year I went to CarMax. Oh, bro, you don't tell me. You boosted a Lexus, man. Jesus. 
It happened, I had that bro. car for like three months. No, sometimes you just walk out of the car dealership and there's no... Sorry, just trying to jog by, don't mind me. Okay, gotcha. No, shit! No! Oh, I'm being shot! I'm being... Help! Help! Bro, it's not just walk down the alley, get a black man in your pocket, man. It's weird. <laughs> Well, I'll take I had, better, I had, better, better you than me, man. I had That's two white guys last week, man. Like, <laughs> all right, you're here to see a IMAX movie here? Yeah, yeah, totally. Uh, just one? Yeah, just one, man. You don't happen to have a black person in your pocket, do you? <laughs> I, have, I don't think I do. Oh! 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 Sun's out, guns right. Sun's out, sun's out. My my guns, they're they're out, they're out. <laughs> Polly, you're trying too hard. What? I shouldn't I shouldn't bring my mom. <laughs> Ma, I'm trying, Ma. Your guns are out. I know, Ma. Ma. Your guns are out, Ma. Ma. They're loaded. They're and not they're ready to hunt, baby. They're not that loaded. They're they're small, Ma. <laughs> Sure, they're small packages, but sometimes big bullets come in small guns. Ma! Ma! Can you please? Ma? Oh, ma. Thank you. Who's hungry? Oh, ma, this is hey. my Tinder date. Can you please? Look, I'm hungry. You like sandwiches? Yeah, I'm wicked hungry, yeah. Oh, like, uh, uh, I got ham. <laughs> I like whatever you got. Whatever you got, ma. Boar's head. Oh, that's the good stuff. Yeah. You like yellow mustard oh. or spicy mustard? <laughs> you mean that wicked <laughs> spicy stuff? Because we don't have spicy. <laughs> Why are you even offering it, Ma? Why are you even offering it? Right. We don't have it. I just didn't want to get his hopes up. You got his hopes up. I'm trying to get my vitamin D. Boar's head, yellow mustard, pretzel roll bread, if we have it. All right, thanks, Ma. <laughs> we don't have it. We don't have it. <laughs> Sorry. Sorry. I, uh, yeah, I still live with my mom. That's all right. A great sunbathing in her backyard, you know. It's beautiful. So you can't really, escape it. We get, yeah, you get. Really get the sun. You get it from the east and the west. <laughs> Got some fresh lemonade. Uh, she makes a good lemonade. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Uh, my Zoom uh, yoga's about to start. So oh. don't mind me, but you're coming to the living room. I might be doing some warrior one. I, we're not going in, we're not going to go to the living We'll be out here getting the sun. We're getting the rays. Um, but if you want to join, you're welcome to. Ma, no, we don't I, want to, Ma. I Ma. might get a little discount if, if, I, if I bring in new customers. <laughs> maybe at the end. Maybe oh, for the no, namaste. Maybe the for the namaste. <laughs> maybe a little downward child. <laughs> we're not, no downward child. That's not even a position. Yeah, maybe, maybe an upward dog. No, that's no, also not a position. Stuff up. Oh, right. you just... <laughs> I know your mom was in like into a yoga punk. Ma's into a lot of things. Look, when dad died, Ma found a lot of hobbies. That's good. Hobbies keep you distracted. Yeah, but she still keeps finds time to mess with my life. Hey, my mom's dead. <laughs> <laughs> yes, <laughs> you tell him something. <laughs> what I wouldn't give. What I wouldn't give to have my mother coming back. Is that to the give wind? What is that? That's right. Tell him about me. I'm sorry I'm haunting you. It's just that your life, really, you need to find a better job. What is that? What are you, what are you looking at? That's, 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 all right, I didn't want It's the ghost of my dead mother. What's that? Oh my god! That's right. Holy shit! Are you. Are Mom, you hungry? I just wanted to get some sun. Uh, <laughs> well, actually, it's just a beautiful day. I just wanted to get some sun. Of course, mind. I know. He just looks like me. He almost looks like he's dying. I'm just checking on his food. <laughs> my, uh, my mom doesn't have any spicy mustard. Do you have any spicy That's mustard? That's all we have down in you hell. Have. I mean, you're in hell? <laughs> I'm not. Holy in crap. Mom. Cover your ears, baby. <laughs> Cover your ears. Cover your ears. Cover your ears. Yeah, Cover your ears. <laughs> Yes! I'll do a spicy mustard. Can you take a seat, bro? You ready for the chat? Oh, yeah, I'm ready for my titty chat. Chat, 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 chat. Find the spot, bro. There's not a chat. I know, you're hooked up, bro. Like, roll that sleeve over. Oh, yeah, all right, all right, all right, all right, bro. All right. Just go right in. Yeah, I know, you're taking this like a champ, bro. 
I ask you a question? Yeah, shoot, bro. We're here for five hours. You just do, you just do humans? Let's do everything, bro. No, what I mean, you just tattoo on to humans? That's what I meant when I said I do everything, bro. What did you think I was saying? <laughs> My dog wants a tattoo. Oh, awesome, sick. What does he want? He couldn't tell you he's a dog. No, he could. He could tell me that he wanted a tattoo. <laughs> oh, oh, there's Bandit right there. What's up, bro? I want a tat. <laughs> All right. Whoa, you usually people freak out when they hear my dog talks. <laughs> bro, I, I work in a tattoo parlor. I've seen a lot of shit. I've tattooed a lot of buttholes, a lot of weird stuff, bro. Yeah, I guess once you tattoo a butthole, it doesn't matter. Yeah, the nothing dog else matters, bro. bro. <laughs> nothing else matters, bro. Don't go near my butthole. <laughs> it's, it's your choice whether you want to. We're getting stuck on the butthole. What kind of tattoo you want, little dude? Hey, Bandit, come on. Come on. You know, quick. Too. Yeah, I want a fucking sick one. Alright, what, what do you want, bro? I want a dragon? No. Another dog? No. A big buff dog? No. Come on, just tell him. Yeah, just it's let it cool. lay it on me. No, no judge. Fine! 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 Uh, want a whole kitty cat. <laughs> bro. Yeah, somebody fell in love. That is so, the come on, Dad. Dad, stop Whoa. it. Stop it. Well, you <laughs> love the cat? Bro. Are you in love with a cat? <laughs> bro, that's fucking awesome. You're breaking barriers. That's progressive, bro. Yeah, I'm progressive. What's her name? His name? Their name? Whatever. His name is Mr. Buttons. Mr. Button sounds hot. <laughs> oh, man. Do you like Mr. Buttons? What do you like about Mr. Buttons? They got a date. You got a date? Dad, yeah. stop! Stop! Yeah. Stop! Yeah. Oh, <laughs> That's awesome. I'm gonna get started. I'm gonna roll up your little dog sleeve right now. Hey, dad, so. Dad, show him Mr. Button's Instagram so he has a good reference. All right, I sure will. Right here. Mr. Hold Buttons up. is Insta famous. Whoa! Now, now, oh, I seen that cat. No, that's now. the Instagram cat. I want uh, slide. Yeah. Slide. It's a gif. It's a yeah, gif. Yeah, no, I got slide. it. Yeah, yeah. Can you do a GIF? Yeah, I can totally do a moving tattoo. I can do a GIF tat. Wait a minute, I like this pose. This is it, this is it right here. This That's is a good right pose. Oh. This is the pose right here. That's Mr. Button. No, I've got it. I've got it photographically memorized right now. I'm so you're getting you're getting a little red rocket over this right now. Hey, this is just my phone. My phone. All right, well, the good news, bro, is I'm gonna put Mr. Button's sexy face on you. You can look at it anytime you want. I'm gonna put money in the meter. All right, cool. Thanks, Dad. All right. You're not allergic to iodine or nothing, right? Iodine. Hi, uh, are you, are you, do you need help? Thank you for coming into the bank today. Can I help you? Uh, absolutely, you can help me. Oh, excellent. Uh, what, what do you need today? I need to make a deposit. All right, uh, well, I just need your, oh God, please, please don't rob us. Oh no, no, oh no, I feel like you're, are you robbing us right now? What's happening? Are you robbing us right now? I'm giving you money. I'm making a deposit. Okay, right? like... all right, sorry. I was worried about being accidentally robbed. <laughs> <laughs> no, I understand that quite, happens quite often. No, I'm just here to put some money in the bank. All right. So, uh, this is your account number. <coughs> it's uh, 932465. You are trying to rob us! Ah. We got your number on the list here! Shit! Alright. Alright, look. I've done it. I'm a bit confused. <coughs> yeah, I get that. It's all right. I'll just. We'll just go back to where we started. Right. I'll just accept you. 
All right, Chief, that madman's still out on the loose. He starts out English and then he becomes Scottish. Ah! And he robs banks. <laughs> ah, son of a bitch, this was a good town before that English Scottish son of a bitch accidentally started robbing banks around here. Ah! He's hit every, he's hit every branch, Chief. All right, Jackson. Well, you can't go at this alone. I know you hate it, but I'm gonna have to partner you up. Come on, Chief, not another partner. Yeah, I'm gonna have to partner you up. I got a, I got a, a new rook that'll be good for you. You can teach it the ropes. And I say it on purpose. It's a kitty cat. <laughs> what the hell? Yeah, come on in, Mr. Buttons. <laughs> the Instagram cat. The Instagram cat, that's right. Oh, come on. Meow. <laughs> okay, you two are gonna partner up. And you're gonna take down this English Scottish accidental bank robber. The question is, have you ever arrested anybody? <laughs> I've arrested lots. Have you ever arrested okay, anybody? Okay, not in my office. Oh. You guys get on your shared motorcycle and get out of Come here. on, Chief. All right. Well, get the motor, pull the motorcycle yeah, around. Yeah, I'll pull it up around. All right. Cut to the motorcycle. You don't have to make the noises. You don't have to make the noises. I like to. You know, I've been. I've been. Oh, stop the car! Stop the car! We're looking for a bank. What's up? Uh, I'm out. Someone stole my spicy mustard. Someone stole you? Yeah, I know. I bought two for one at Kroger. And I looked at my cabinet, and the spicy mustard isn't there. And my son. We're looking for a bank robber. This seems like something for another Wait, thing. What? Cat. This, this, this could be a lead. Mr. Perot, oh, everything could be connected. Hey, that's like police brutality. My head only takes so much. I Just, just turn your body cam, turn your body camera off. All right, I'm off the road. It's off. All right, look. I know they're out there looking for me, all right? You're the only one I've got. <laughs> oh, I didn't want to get roped into this, man. Like, You've got no choice. I'm stuck. I'm a hostage now. I think now. I'm holding you hostage. Or I, I, perhaps yeah. I invited you. I don't know anymore. It feels like I'm being held hostage now. But it was accidental. <laughs> <laughs> I accidentally took you hostage. Yeah, I thought we were just hanging out now. There's fucking cops outside. There's fucking yeah! I was in your pocket the whole time. Oh, oh shit. shit. <laughs> I have been... That's right. I have a shot with the oh. chief of police. I believe he's holding a gun. Yeah. Oh. That's right. It's a, a shot with his dog bandit too. Alright. Ah. And Mr. Buttons, you! Mr. Oh. Buttons, good work! You look just like the bank teller. <laughs> like you're a cat. Oh, the bank teller? The bank teller's in there. No, oh, that's right. The bank teller. The bank teller. The bank teller. The big pants. Ah, I knew oh. you were trying to rob us! Look! Whoa! Oh, this whoa, is all whoa, 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 whoa! Is that couch free? <laughs> I think all bets I are off. Mr. Buttons! Holy shit, this is a whole lot of yeah. it! Look, it's all been a big mystery. Mr. Mr. Buttons, get in there, I got Bro. him! Was it Mr. But Mr. Buttons like still here? He's no, like, that's he's the bank teller. Bank teller. You're that one, Mr. Buttons. You know what? I'll go find Mr. Buttons. I think I'll find my partner. Our thingy. We'd all be alright if it's the time to listen to one each other. We don't listen to shit here! It's Mr. Buttons back! <laughs> alright, Mr. Buttons. I just wanted to watch Dark Knight on TNT, bro. You forget! Whoa! <laughs> Who the hell is this? I know Scottish Jiu Jitsu! Holy shit! <laughs> Hold on, what? Right? That's the most deadly so Oliver! Jiu -Jitsu Oliver! You stole my heart! I've been in your pocket the whole time. Is that your Angus. first love? Angus, I'm sorry. It's okay. I That's didn't mean to do that. It's all right. I'm glad you did. You can choose love. Or... <laughs> no, just no, 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 that's hey, actually no. good advice. Just no, 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 no. It just seems like me. There's choice. You're playing an order. Oh, oh my God! You're going to negotiate right now. You no. got a beautiful woman. I'll let everyone hear that poem you serenaded to me. <laughs> Is there a poem? I love poems. As Mr. Button, yes. tell us the poem. My dove, you're a sweet summer light. 
you come to me on a fragrant night. Find a place inside my heart, and I know there our love will start. <laughs> now touch me, Willie. It's in your pocket. <laughs> <laughs>